Thank you. Superb. Okay, day three check-in. Welcome everyone. How is everyone doing? I am really, okay, before we move further, I would really like to see some engagement in the chat. So I'm your Fassi for the check-in today. I'm Sumi, I'm the region manager for BD uh, for this year. And day three, yes, day three is here. And we are almost halfway through the summit and you're almost halfway being the MCVPs that you will be for the next term. So very exciting. I would like a mood check so you can write in the chat. How are you feeling? Write in the chat, write, write in the chat so I don't feel awkward about being so energetic. Yes, excited, excellent, amazing, fun. Yes, spoiler alert, amazing. Super excited, excited. I'm glad you're excited. I hope you're gonna keep this or we are gonna be able to maintain this energy for you. And with no further ado, I would like to... Welcome your fun team! Fun team, over to you. Hey, Isaac! What's, What's up? What's up? How are you feeling? Excellent. excellent. How are you really, really feeling? Fucking excellent. excellent. Amazing. So let's have our theme song first. Don't be so twicky, bitch. <laughs> Hello everyone, so this is the Astro Queens for you. So I am Priyanka and uh, it's Emmy. So we'll be waiting for Emmy for a while, but before that we'll be moving forward with the other slides. So yes, let's move ahead for today. So before we start, I'll again start with the fun team rules. So number one is fun team is always right. And second is if fun team was wrong, read number one. The third one is say okay to whatever fun team says. And number four, if you want to say no, look at number three. So yes, are you clear with the rules? Can I see some excitement in the chat box? Ooh, I show the sounds. Okay, sorry. Yay! Let's move ahead. Okay, so before we start, I again say, so your dreams do come true. So here is the wish list link for all of you and you can keep as many wishes as you want. So yes, are you excited for today? So yes, we are reading some uh, wish list from yesterday. So number one, there is a confession for Fatima. It's Fati to be mine. I have a huge crush on her. So yes, Fati, do you have anything to say? Um, I, I need to ask my team leader, is this ethical? <laughs> is there a I have no say in this. <laughs> okay, it's just is like there a the baby, baby, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, I'm flattered. Thank you so much. <laughs> so Mati, you can keep the Telegram like contact, you know, or even any personal contact. I can give you a wink. Here you, here you go. Okay, thank you so much. Yes. Nice. <laughs> whoever, whoever has written this, you can contact Mati. If I pronounce the name wrong, get PM from Sri Lanka to pick a girl and do a pickup line. So do we have PM here? Yes, I'm here. Okay. So yes, you're free to pick anyone from the uh, from anyone in the uh, conference and you can have you can uh, do a pickup line for her. So it's your time PM do it. Uh Okay. Uh I'll pick Sapna. Uh, 
Uh, is she is she here? Yes, she is here. Oh wow! So there. <laughs> Okay. I just realized AP is so, you know, I thought AP is really prevent or really shy, but Rena is so direct. So where is she? <laughs> yes, where is she? Can you Can say you hi to us? Yeah. Hi, hi, I'm here. Okay, PM, let's do it. Mm, hi, Sapna. So, you are so good and you are so beautiful. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's enough. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So um, let's move ahead. So Jonah from Isaac in Malaysia confessed to Julie from Isaac in Malaysia. So is Jonah and Julie here? So people, don't put internal issues into this regional plenary, okay? So this is internal, like your entity issue. But it's Jonah and Julie, <laughs> yeah, Jonah and Julie, are you there? Uh, yes. Hi. Jonah is here. Hi. And where is your mate? Is Julie here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh. Oh wow. yes. So Jonah, yes, it is your time. So you can confess whatever you want to say. Yeah, also her background is engaged with Isaac, you know, you know what I mean. My confession, uh, Julie, is that um, I have not been sleeping well recently because, um, yes, I am very worried for you as well as all my other uh, delegates. From Isaac in Malaysia as chief delegate. So yeah, it's an equal amount of love for everyone. But yes. he's more worried for you, Julie. No, 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 no. It's equal. It's equal. So no, no bias here. Um, yeah. Fair enough. Thank you so much, Jonah. So yes, let's come to the last one. Savina MCVP Operations Nepal proposed to Tony. So hey. Tony, it's your time. Hey, oh my god. What happened? <laughs> Samina, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, I feel nervous right now. I know why it's a bit. <laughs> Is it Tony from region office or Tony is somewhere else? Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hello. <laughs> hi. <laughs> what? What? Uh, okay, so um so uh, <laughs> well, how do I start? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So Tony, do you remember the time you made our uh, chief delegate groups and uh, you sent the video and you pinned the video? And I've since since the time I saw you in that video, I I could not sleep at night. You know, my hunger is gone, and I just <laughs> I'm not prepared. <laughs> and you know, uh, and I, I just look at you in the entire conference and, uh, you know, today, every morning I wake up with the thought of seeing you in this conference. So, yeah, I've been going crazy in your love. <laughs> I really want you to be my partner. So, will you accept my proposal? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, uh, I can send, like, the video as your, you know, like, the phone ring. Then you can keep it organized <laughs> to yourself. <laughs> That'll be really good. Thank you for your confession. Really, yeah, really appreciate <laughs> Thank, thank you so you. much. Oh my god, I'm so awkward. But it's fine. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now I think Tony can't sleep all night. Okay, I'll turn off my screen. I'm too shy right now, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you so much everyone for being so participative. So now i like to pass the space to Emmy. So Emmy, you can take over. Thank you everyone. Okay. Ooh. So, Ooh. Amy's here? Yeah, Emmy is yeah. here. Nice. Okay, so you guys already like uh, see a lot of like cute thing from our wish list, right? Do you see me? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so for today, I will also introduce you guys our Astro Cupid, which is <laughs> Amy and Priyanka. Yeah. Today we will uh, transform from Astro 
queen to Astro Cupid and bring you guys Astro Queens. Yeah. Okay. Next slide, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. So one of the quote that we are really love is love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind. <laughs> okay. Let's start with our very first one. Uh, it's first of all, we wanted to introduce our pickup line academy for every one of you with the hope that we can change your Isaac code from a zero zero to a N plus one N plus one. So it's a little needed to higher than one. Okay, so for the first thing, for the first slide, uh, the, the next one, I mean, no, not this one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so for the first one, uh, I think everyone of you already aware that uh, COVID right now is like going crazy, right? And if you are having like some kind of like symptoms and you didn't aware of that, but <clears throat> I would suggest you to look at your crush. And why? Can you go to the next slide, please? Okay, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, you can go to the next slide. Next, next one, please. Yes, because she will be the one who really makes you feel or make you realize that you are having COVID or not. <laughs> yeah, I thought that I had COVID, but when I saw you, I realized my taste was perfectly fine, was perfectly okay. Okay, that is the first thing. Okay, next, please. <laughs> okay, so when we already know that like COVID make everything cancel, but <laughs> accept my feeling for you. That is how you can propose to your crush. <laughs> <laughs> okay next one yeah okay so when you are talking with your crush or uh yeah your crush is talking to you and in this way and when she asks you know what is on the menu and it's actually me and you oh and that is, the time, that is the time that you know that she also <laughs> has a crush on you <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Next, please. <laughs> okay, so this is especially for the MCVP uh, TMOD. So when Tony or anywhere else, anyone else asking you that are you from OD with this kind of face. And then he said that because I can totally see a girl path in our relationship. <laughs> It's the time for you to really take this serious because you can go very far away from this one. Okay, so I think this is will be the but last. Maybe point. Tony is moving from OD to operations today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will ship directly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is the last one, I think. Uh, I think like every one of us already know about expa. Yeah, especially like um, yeah. And if someone asking you, are you expa? And he or she said that because sometimes you literally drive me crazy. It means that actually you're placing a very important space or a spot inside their heart. Yes. Okay. Uh, is there anyone else? Ah, okay. This, this one is the last one, I think. Okay. So if you're having a crush on anyone and you really wonder, is he really love me? Like, Casey from our CC, and then he replied, "I love you like Isaac love leadership." <laughs> then you know, you know, it's already done. True love, true love, <laughs> true love already, <laughs> forever. Okay, I think. Thank you so much for that. And then uh, for now, we also going to introduce you guys a very very important thing, which is pickup line competition where you can also uh, submit your own pickup line, like your own, like, uh, yeah, like what you are planning to talk with your crush uh, in order for us to prepare and also to practice before put it into the reality. So uh, um, can you help me to put um, the link inside here, please? Oh, Emmy, uh, I'll, I'll do that in the uh, delegation chat. Uh, okay, okay, Del sure. Yes. So it's very simple. You guys can just go to that link, uh, submit your pickup line. And then after all, we are going to uh, 
have the selection process and then we will announce like a few of the very best one in the very next com uh, next meeting and then after that like our regional office will be the judge yeah in order to select the best one okay so thank you everyone so much for this space uh astro queen aka astro cupid will say bye bye to you and really hope that you are going to have an amazing day tomorrow today and see you tomorrow thank you bye bye signing off for today thank you fun team Okay, oh, sorry. Okay, so moving on to the agenda for today. You can hear me, right? Perfect. Yes. To me, uh, um, remove the video optimize. Oh, yes. Thanks. I mean, it's removed. Do you see it blurred? We can see black boxes in the screen. So maybe we can okay. share. Okay. Is it okay now? Uh, so the black boxes, they show up because you have the video setting. If you take off the video setting and reshare your screen again, it's going to not have it anymore. Like subject. Just because for video, it shows if you start opening stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and click optimize video now, if it's clicked and click it. Okay, now? Yay, better. Okay, fix it. Perfect. A, a huge realization for me throughout this conference is that I'm not Zoom savvy as I thought I am. Okay, moving on to the day three. Today is all about shaping the future, which means that I take ownership for the future beyond just our generation and I'm ready to be a part of generation 2025, the first ever generation to work towards the Isaac 2024 vision and yes the past two days have been about owning the present and now we are gonna talk about shaping the future and how our terms are going to be and contribute to the long-term direction of the organization and your entities so moving to the agenda for today so we have a long agenda but it's still nice and sweet uh, you are in the check-in right now with me after this you'll have a 15 minutes break uh, after this we have a session on EVA National Initiatives, delivered by Prayog Mali. After this, we have a very amazing workshop being delivered by Jika on design thinking and also which is going to be based around how to diversify your entity's revenue streams and break up. After this, you have break up. I hope you don't have to go through it. It's a break. So, uh, and this is a session right before planning with Isuru. And after that, you have another short break. Then you will split into your uh, commission times. And all the commission blocks today, most of them are based on performance management, which is also what we are going to talk about today. So performance management for IGT, performance management for OGT, performance management for marketing forever. And in DM, you're going to talk about persona design. And in BD, you're going to talk about very interesting port portfolio that we are coming up with on a global and regional level. After this, you have Harvest Learning Space with Isuru, and you're going to go for dinner before joining us for Social Agenda for today, which is Regional Office Get to Know, that is Hot Seat. So just another reminder, if you still haven't sent your questions for Hot Seat, you still might have time. And if you still have not sent your questions on what Magic Tony and Magic Mali means, it is a reminder for you to send those questions. Trust me, you will not be disappointed or you might be depending on what your expectations are. So yes, as you see, like the commission blocks today are based on performance management and like talking about performance. And today is all about the new initiatives and like putting things into place, putting things into action. So um, I would like to ask you, what do you expect to learn from today? And what is your definition of performance? 
So I'm also going to write these questions in the chat um, before giving you three minutes and then we'll come back for a small sharing. So what do you expect to learn from today and what is your definition of performance? Move to, to who would like to share with us what is your expectation from today? Perfect. Anubhav Raj, you go first. Uh, hi, I hope I'm audible, right? Yes, yes. Oh, uh, yeah, perfect. Hi, people. So I'm Anubhav from India. So I'm really excited for the day and few things which I'm really looking forward or expecting from the day. So there's a a huge planning block today. So I'm really looking forward to understand how in these uncertain situation we as an MC team can plan better and actually what all projects we can take up and how we can actually plan everything and get no more clarity because personally I've been a little confused as to how to go about planning things and everything in detail because of the uncertain time here. And talking about the second question, I think performance for me is achieving all the goals which we actually set out as our MOS achieving the vision of the organization or particularly taking a step in the direction in a long-term vision. So yeah, that is it. what performance means to me actually. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, Anubhav. Jocelyn, you're next. Hello, am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, so for me, like I think previously, like the previous two days of the summit, because uh, we were focusing on the things that have already happened. Uh, right so we were focusing on owning the present so today since we are kick starting with shaping the future i am looking forward to uh, learning certain things that i can directly use uh, like right now like uh, how i can be more action oriented into uh, you know moving into the plans that i want to have so i think that's uh, the one thing that i'm looking forward to the most and uh, apart from that i think if i talk about performance like my approach and performance i feel that i um, i am someone who believes in striking a balance between being task oriented and people oriented so i think when i'm able to do that when i'm able to uh, balance out uh, you know between the membership that i'm leading and also the goals that i want to achieve so when i'm able to effectively lead team in that way then i believe i am performing so yeah uh, with this uh, i check in thank you thank you jocelyn okay we have time for one more sharing was it going to be I'm right. I'm reading the chat. Who is it gonna be? Who's Eco? Okay, Eco, Eco. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So basically, I would like to like uh, share the second question first because I think it's really related for what I want to get from this day. So basically, from my side, I, performance is carrying a, a duty into a, 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 an action or like some kind of execution. So when it comes to you can carry the duty in a better way, means that you are successfully creating some kind of performance for yourself and your uh, members. And then what I really want to get for now, since performance means like you carrying the, the duty uh, into execution, uh, for, for now, like I'm trying to getting a lot of things that can making sure that during the process I can make it able to creating some kind of good ex execution on creating my initiative. Yeah. I Thank you. Thank you, Iko. Shout out to Isaac in Indonesia for representation. Okay, moving on to the next part. I'll share my screen. Amazing. Do you see the black boxes or what? Is it okay? It's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so today is all about performance. So I would like to kind of share my story and my struggles with performance, um, like in life in general. So it's gonna be like a very short story because I also want you all to kind of interact with each other as well. So the story begins in 1996. You see like this uh, small kid sitting in her mom's lap. That's me and that's my family. It's my older brother there and my parents. And I'm the youngest one in the family. So I was always, you know, pampered a lot and pampered a lot. But then that also meant like I always had to kind of use my brother's old games, his old 
uh, bicycle and stuff like that. But it was still fun growing up. Um, then this is me. I think I'm like two or one. I don't remember. I think I'm around two years old here. And this is my brother's school dress that I'm wearing. Like it's because I was always so keen to go to school and I could not wait for like school life to start I was one of those kids and I was very excited okay I'm, I'm gonna go to school one day and I'm gonna you know be I, I always thought of myself being like okay I'm a very competitive person I always have been and I always wanted to be on the top of my class and stuff like that so I could not wait to go to school so this is like one of those pictures you see here and then when I go, went to the school I continue with that kind of a spirit that, okay, I always have to be good and I want to be good and I want to give it my best shot. I want to perform better. I want to perform well and be at my best and everything. And that kept happening. And you see like here and the face that you see here, it actually represents my, uh, my feelings about performing well, because I always felt like, okay, I'm, getting like all these good scores and everything but I always had this feeling because of how my mindset was growing up that I always have to be better I can do better than this okay I'm getting this many marks I can do even better it's not enough la, 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 la. and a lot of it didn't come from my family but it came from the pressure that I put on myself and I had this habit of not being like that kind to myself and stuff like that even though like from the outside from the people around me it would always look like I'm excelling at life you know I, I'm getting this all these awards I'm getting all these opportunities and but inside it's like I'm not being kind to myself and this is something that a lot of us forget a lot of times um, yeah and because of all the pressure and even though like from the outside it's all fine it's all hunky-dory and I'm doing well from the societal perspective um, what's going on inside is what matters the most after a certain point of time because of which what happened like I was very unhappy I was getting unhappy around high school uh, I started because school is a long journey so all the pressure that you put on yourself there is gonna come a time you can keep lying to yourself okay like I'm gonna work on myself later I'm gonna figure my shit out afterwards I'm gonna figure my shit out after my MCVB term it's okay let me burn myself out let me give my everything and all of that it's gonna catch up to you and you do, you will not have control on like when it's gonna catch up to you and it caught up to me around it was around high school I started developing anxiety I started developing like me mental health struggles and we can have a chat about it if you're passionate about it in detail if you're ever up about it so feel free to write to reach out to me about that as well so all of that was again there can be external factors that can be like your neurochemical imbalances and all of all sort of things but a lot of those things are actually triggered by your routines and how kind you're being to yourself and talking about performance today again we all have our uh, personal definitions of performance how we view performance how we really want to give our best to the roles that we have been offered the entities that we are going to be serving for the next year but you cannot serve your entity in the best way possible if you are not your authentic self if you're not your best self and that is very important to remember so around high school I started developing all of this um, anxiety and I was depressed and that's when I kind of realized okay this is all because like I never gave myself a chance to be grateful to myself and the things that I'm doing for myself or the things that I'm actually good at and it's very good to acknowledge that from time to time and then when university came again it was a very um, challenging period of my life so when the university came uh, I found Isaac and I joined Isaac and I was like you know I saw it as an escape from all the mental health struggles that I was going through and I was literally Isaac was my life in university people would make fun of me because I was too much into Isaac they would I would be walking 
in the corridors and they would literally yell, Isaac. And I knew that they were talking to me. I would turn around and they're, they're just talking to me. They probably knew my name. Of course, they knew my name. But they would just make fun of me by just calling Isaac. And I mean, eventually it helped with Isaac's branding because everybody knew Isaac. So there was that. Uh, but then again, um, I saw Isaac as an escape. Isaac as a place where I could develop myself, but also where I could escape reality. And later on, even though it was giving me happiness, I was doing better in my mental health and everything. But then I realized that still I was kind of channeling all of my performance battles through Isaac. And then I shifted my focus on like, okay, I want to be good at academics. I want to score good in academics. Blah, blah, blah. I shifted all of that anxiety or performance anxiety towards Isaac that I want to do best here. I want to apply to EBs. I want to apply to CCP. I want to get selected and all of these things. And eventually it's going to catch up to you and you cannot help it again because it's your body actually trying to save you from uh, future struggles. So it's good that it caught up to me and it's, it was a nice reminder again to kind of um, take care of myself again and take it, you know, be sustainable in terms of how I'm doing things here. And there were still a lot of times where I still struggled with mental health. I still do sometimes, but it's like a, I'm much more conscious. I'm much more aware of it because when it comes to mental health, there is not like a switch where you can switch on your mental happiness and where you can switch off where your body switches off. So it's not like it's a process and I'm going through the process. A lot of us are going through the same process. And this is what we're here to share as well. Isaac is a place where you can be open about it, where you can actually... Uh, work on yourself where you can actually have these conversations that actually help you get better through these things and yeah then I graduated this is I think this was one of the happiest days of my university when I graduated and I'm like genuinely happy I'm not posing in this I'm genuinely happy like there were people around me because I never used to laugh or uh, in pictures and People were like, you're genuinely happy. I was genuinely happy. And this was not because of Isaac. This was just like me being in the moment, me being um, thankful and me being grateful to like something that I accomplished and acknowledging it. I wasn't at the top of my class and I was okay with it. I was uh, grateful that, okay, I'm passing my university with these incredible people. I've gained th this much experience from Isaac. And I was moving on to my MC role. So there was like a lot of things going on. And I was genuinely happy here. And then I moved on to my next role, which is again, like taking up bigger responsibilities, taking up my MC role. And after that, even my leadership role that I had with AI. So it kind of keeps coming back to you that what, whatever you do, like it's, I'm never good enough. And no matter what I say or what I do, I feel like I am never good enough. And there is like these thoughts that might come to you sometimes. There was even a time like in 2017, I got to be at the UN headquarters. Like I was representing India at, uh, at the Youth General Assembly. And as big of a moment it is, I remember standing like at this spot. It's not a picture taken by me, but I remember it was this spot. And I was looking at like my country's flag and I was like, I don't feel as big right now, even though like it is a big moment, but I feel like there's so much more that I can do. I forget to live in the moment. I forget to live the experience. And this is something that we all really should take care of. We are about to begin like one of the best experiences in our lives, even though it's going to be virtual or even though it might be physical for us. So it's very important to live this experience. Okay, performance is going to be there, but you also have to take care of yourself because these are the golden years of your life that you're giving to the world's largest youth run organization. And a lot of times we can flow in those moments. We can flow in that love for the organization that it kind of transcends the love that you can give to yourself. And it's very important to remember that. And yes, um, after like some of the, now when I was preparing this session, I was kind of going through my gallery of all the moments that I've had like, I this is like from one of my leadership terms like I got to meet my best friend there who is also right now a global coordinator for Mind Valley I'm I made new friends like I've had very incredible moments and 
I've visited so many countries, uh, met so many incredible people, lived through so many uh, incredible experiences, incredible teams. And now I'm living an experience which is remote, but also with these five wonderful people from all across the world. And this is something, again, performance is always going to be there. We all are here because we are accountable to the role that we've been selected for. It is going to be there. But what is important is also to acknowledge the journey that you've had the qualities that you possess, the effort that you're actu actually putting in. And that is very important to acknowledge. And this is, yeah, I mean, just like uh, me being in this role, it was a nice reminder to me as well that, okay, me being um, a, pers a key person, like leading business development in the region, it also comes with, there is a responsibility, of course. And we all are people who, understand responsibility who under who take ownership for the role that we have we have been given and then we also have this opportunity where we can actually innovate so much where we can actually create something new or create something for your own entities create something for the regions for example like we just had this idea where we want to create something external for the asia pacific youth which is like and that's how like the innovation challenge came and then we have like such a huge team that is going to be working for this and this is not something, you know, like that was happening in the past on a regional scale, but this is just something we are taking, um, making the most out of the opportunity, the platform that we, are, we have been given. And this is something that something new that we are trying on a regional level. Entities have done it. Again, we are taking learnings from that, but there is just something uh, new that we can try, something uh, impactful that we can create for the region while also acknowledging um, how much you are giving to your role and who, how much you are um, providing to this organization. And it is very, very much valued. So yes, I mean, you're living your most memorable life right now, even though it is behind the screen. We could have probably been right now somewhere in, I don't know, Sri Lanka or somewhere in Taiwan or Vietnam in uh, a conference like this. We could have been hugging right now, but we are here. It is still memorable and you are still going to be starting your MC roles soon. It is still going to be something you can still make it memorable, even though it's probably going to be remote or even though it's probably going to be hybrid or whatever, you can still make it memorable because of the experience, because of the learnings that you're going to take and also because of how much uh, kindness you can give to yourself, how much kindness and how much you can acknowledge that you have grown. Because a lot of times in the pursuit of achieving things, uh, creating projects, executing projects, uh, doing routines for MCs, doing commission calls and everything, it can get lost. But make sure that you're also pausing a little bit and taking time to be grateful to yourself. Okay, like this is what you've accomplished. This is how much you're working, like what, 35 hours you're supposed to work. You're probably working, overworking, like, First of all, don't overwork. But if you're overworking, okay like, okay, like acknowledge yourself that you're giving so much to your role and you take ownership. It's very, very, very important. And then you're at a place that a lot of others seem to be. You are elected MCVPs or if there are potential, you are potential MCVPs. A lot of people, they get scared when they look, when they open up an MC booklet and they get scared with the level of questions that is there, the number of questions that is there. A lot of people get eliminated. You are at a place that a lot of others in this organization actually want to be. They look up to you. They will look up to you. And you are also at a place where people, young members right now, if you're hosting conferences as an MCVP, they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, oh my God, I want to be there. I want to be speaking to this many people. I want to host sessions like them. So you're at a place that a lot of others dream to be, want to be. They're going to be looking up to you. And you're at a position where you can actually create something new and create a huge impact. But like, it's very Isaac of us to strive for excellence. I mean, it is one of our values. Why not? We are also always going to strive for excellence, to perform at our best. And it is natural for us being in Isaac to have that kind of an Ivy League mindset that, okay, whatever I'm going to do, it has to be excellent. It has to be this. It's a very good mindset. And it's, it's what Isaac conditions us to have and it's very valuable it's incredible but there are always going to be buts like 
there are always going to be times when things might not go your way. We are living in a real world. We are not living in a utopia. Uh, things are not ideal. Things are, things are going to go wrong. And things might not be always at the standard that you expect or that you work for them to be. And when they are, do not take them personally. Do not think that you're not enough. Just be grateful for what you gave. And do not take, take things personally. Do not think less of yourself. There are going to be times when you are going to be an MCVP. There are going to be times when things might not go your way. Do not think that you did not give enough or do not think that you are a terrible MCVP because you got selected for something. You got selected for qualities that you possess. You got selected for the person that you are to lead your entities. And when things don't go your way, it's not like because you're shitty. It's just because things happen. You're living in a real world. And yes, I mean, just a reminder, be kind to yourself. This is something that we often, often forget in ISEC. And it is very important to stay true to, to this, like being kind to ourselves. We're giving our prime, primest years of our lives to something this impactful, something this huge. And to the billions of young people out there, we are literally like, what, 50 people in this room actually talking about such high level things, such deep things, actually hosting these impactful um, sessions. And you're going to be hosting such sessions in your entities as well. So that is a huge deal. And it is important that you acknowledge that from time to time. So this is my message. And I will uh, break you out into rooms now. Uh, I would like to have a conversation. I would like to hear some conversations on how healthy is your relationship right now with performance? How do you view performance? And what are some of the toxic behaviors that you can work on to be a happy performing MCVP and a leader? So I will send you to breakouts. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will give you what like, 10 minutes, okay? And I will send you questions in the Telegram chat. Let me quickly send it here as well. Okay. We are waiting for people to join. Three seconds, two seconds, super. Welcome back, people. I hope you had some good, interesting conversations. I understand the time was not enough. So feel free to write it in the feedback as well. I understand it was not enough, but I, we still have an agenda to catch up to. So we'll move on to sharing space. We can have two sharings uh, before we move to the next space. So who's it going to be? Who would like to share from any of the two breakouts? You, okay, Karavi from India. And Shamit from um, Nepal, you are next. Okay. Hi. Um, so uh, I was in the breakout room with uh, Fatty, with Eddie, with... Um, Shaze from Pakistan as well. So um, I think we had a very, very nice discussion with regard to uh, our personal experiences and how in our experience, we used to either be way too controlling about how things are going and just take things into uh, you know our hands instead of trusting someone with it or how we had to always be number one. Um, it was again, very, very interesting because everyone had a very different perspective but um, what was beautiful was that everyone was actually actively trying to fix that. And they were self-aware that something was wrong and they were trying to um, kind of evolve and become a better version of themselves, become a better person than they were yesterday. And I think um, that was just like a very um, heartwarming, a very nice conversation that we had. Thank you, Keravi. Shamit from Nepal, you're next. Okay, um 
Uh, in our room, uh, the thing was that we actually found a, a more common sort of issue, like uh, we tended to focus too much on work and kind of uh, ig uh, ignored our personal life. So we, you know, like that was a bit common. But the thing was, like I always said, like all of them were, you know, like self-aware and they knew what problems they had to fix, and uh, all of them were, you know, like actively working towards a uh, solution. So yeah, I guess that's one of the most beautiful parts of the conversation. Thank you so much for that. Okay, um, to catch up on the agenda, we will move to the next part, which is agenda manager announcement. I will invite you, Fati, to the stage. Amazing. So to save time again, Sumi already briefed through the agenda, so I won't do that. Just reminding you on the message of the day, which is limitless performance. So just keep your thoughts from the check-in um, in mind so you can use them during the day. Uh, for yesterday, sorry, that's day two feedback. For day two feedback, we decreased by why one entity is guys we're supposed to increase not decrease go go back go back slide before yeah so thank you bangladesh cambodia hong kong india malaysia mongolia myanmar nepal new zealand philippines and singapore and vietnam for filling the feedback form and just one disclaimer the point here is not to show you how like it's not a competition of who's gonna feel more because i know like different entities have different structure this is just a reminder for you to keep yourself and your teammates accountable of filling the feedback form next and we have more entities using harvest the learning thank you so much just one thing to pay attention to when you are feeling harvest the learning there are you know the plus sign which is the grouping of the columns so you need to open that in order to fill the other boxes i see some people filled but like they feel just the first column and the other ones are closed so just pay attention to that and thank you everyone for using harvest the learning and see you in harvest the learning today yeah this is the link your questions we're going to answer it there were three questions yesterday thank you for asking the questions uh, we started answering, so keep your questions coming so we can answer them. That's it for today. Super. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Fatih. Over to you, Tony, our amazing conference manager. Hello, people. I know you've missed my voice. That's the reason I'm presenting all the things here. Okay, uh, can I share the screen sharing about the website? So I just let the people discover of it. Sumi, can I share the screen? Thank you so much. Cool. So yeah, let's just show a bit. So thank you for our partner, Invest Hong Kong, to sponsor this event. And you will see them soon. And also, yeah, deliver some contacts there. So if you're curious, you can also like the check on there. So yeah, day three agenda reminder. All the link is here. The next session will stay in the same room. So people just stay here. Uh, don't leave. Like uh, just we'll play some music and do some stress or even like have some talk with some people if you want. And also like the after harvest learning, right? We have our hot seat. If you didn't fill in the question, click the link, you can get the question there. So I know some people are also curious like, if you can get the Google calendar to have the whole IFS like the agenda there. So just click this thing. Uh, you can bring all the agenda here. Look at here, full of agenda, makes you fresher and PDSDs, but you can know where to click and which link to join. So this is the reminder and that's all from my side. Thank you, Tony. Okay, we have a short break of 10 minutes before we start our next session. So we will see you in 10 minutes. You can stay in the room. We'll play some nice music. We'll jump and see you in 10 minutes.